Hey everyone, and welcome to Herbie's Fan Tour! Yay! <laughs> so two years ago when we were in Australia, we fell in love with van life. We had a van there for a few months, and we've always dreamed of converting our own van. And this year was finally the moment that we bought our own van and converted it into a tiny home on wheels. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash, and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. In the beginning of the year, six months ago, we decided to buy a van. We chose the 2019 Peugeot Boxer Extra Long Wheelbase Edition, and we couldn't be happier. Then we spent four months converting the van into what it is today, and we all documented that on YouTube. So if you're interested in watching that, you can check out our previous van conversion videos. And now I guess it's time to show you the big reveal <laughs> let's go welcome to herbie the van so uh, the idea behind the interior was to create some kind of barren bay beach check vibe we both always loved interior design and we really wanted to create some nice homey feeling we used a lot of white some golden details we also put a link down in the description below that will take you to all the products that we used in the van so make sure to check that out if you're interested in decorating your home maybe you're converting your van yourself so so definitely check that out and now let's get into it so the first thing you see when you enter the van is this little storage space so we use that to put our shoes in just when we enter the van just to keep the van nice and clean and then you actually enter our i would say mostly bathroom area but then you have the sink as well so it's also a little bit of the kitchen so we actually built all of this beautifully ourselves we're just like super proud of it um, and then we have a fake marble um, kitchen top so this is actually Ikea but it looks super super nice this is our sink we decided to go for quite a big sink because we feel it's just easy because you can put your dishes in it and I feel it's just for us it was really important to just keep it quite big then we have these beautiful taps it's actually by two rooms which is a Dutch company I don't know if it's like the most practical tap but aesthetically it's just super beautiful and you have this small mirror here this is the only mirror we have in the van I wish we had a full-length mirror maybe someday we'll include it somewhere but anyway this is doing the job right now then we have some nice art piece right here we might still replace it with our own prints if you don't know that yet we have our own prints it's also linked down below we have these beautiful photographs that we took all over the world and actually behind this there is an escape hatch so whenever we feel unsafe or we just like want to drive away because something is happening outside we can just take this off jump through it and drive away so we don't have to go outside it was important for us to close this because a lot of people will ask why did you close it it's actually because we feel that we can use more space otherwise we would have never been able to put this all this right here so that's the reason here above we have a lot of storage space um, we actually put all our shoes there we have a lot of shoes so that's all filled with shoes but if you decide not to bring too many shoes we could put anything in there from towels it's it's really really big for all our top cabinets you will see that we used cane webbing we think it's just like a nice touch it gives a nice vibe breaks well with all the white and then we have the golden door handles then the next thing I want to show you is all this <laughs> right here we have our drawers so that's filled with all our cutlery some of our things to use for cooking here we have all our beauty stuff well mostly my obviously so hair products skin care, makeup, all our sunglasses, jewelry that's all in here right here we have another closet so we mostly just store clothes here. We use these organizing boxes just to keep everything neat and clean and just easy to take out. The last part of the front of the van that we want to show you is our shower. We're super excited to show you because we put so much work into it. First of all, 
We have this really cute door that really gives the beach like vibe, so we really wanted that. And some really cool feature that we haven't seen in a van before is we put a window in our shower so that you have some nice natural light going into the shower cabin and also that you can see the shower hat from here. Ready for the big reveal! <laughs> So this is our beautiful shower. We actually wanted to create some kind of a cement look, but instead of like the gray black cement look that you usually see in bot rooms, we wanted to go for a white cement look. And as most of the other things in our van, the details, we used a golden taps as well, a golden shower hat. We also have a light in here. We have some ventilation in here as well. And we also hung a shower curtain just to keep the water inside of the shower. We also created a little nook in the shower wall where we can put our products when we're showering. And then we also have a toilet in the van. So we actually have a porta potty by Thetford and we always store it in our shower. But whenever we want to take a shower, we can just easily take it out. It just takes one second, literally. So it's super, super easy. Okay, so the next thing we want to show you is the seating area. This is where Laura and I get most of our work done. This is also where we eat when we are not eating outside. We thought it was super important to have a little window next to our table so we can look at the nice Tuscan fields while we're working. We also have this little cane webbing lamp. We thought it was cool to bring the cane webbing back again. We actually have a nice print on this side of the table as well. This is a picture that we took last summer in Greece. So one thing we learned from watching a lot of YouTube van conversions is that you have to make the most out of all the tiny little spaces you have. So we decided to use our seats as storage space as well. So basically you just remove this cushion, put it here, and then right here you have Laura's wardrobe. Yay! So again, we used all these organization boxes just to keep everything nice and clean. It's also easy to take out. And, and just like that, you put it back. Under our other seat, we decided to put our water heater and to put our water pump. Both our wheel pumps, we'll link them in the description. And we also have our blender. blender right here. It's honestly a lifesaver. We can't live without our blender. Smoothies in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so it's time to reveal our kitchen. So we both love good food. So it was really important for us to have all the things you need to cook food, which is obviously a stove. So we have this stove by Tedford. We only have two stoves, which is enough for us, honestly. It's all on gas. Then we also have an oven, also by Tedford, which is quite a luxury in a van, we know that, but it is super important for us because we cook a lot of things in an oven. Definitely, if you don't have a lot of time, you just put something in the oven and it's ready. So it's super easy. Below the oven, we have a little drawer that's actually just full of, you know, like a cutting board, all our pots and pans, our oven trays, all the things you need for cooking. Then right next to it, we have our fridge. We actually placed a little door in front of it just because it looks nicer. It's actually a fridge by Isotherm. It's a 115 liter fridge, so it's super big. We have a separate compartment for our fruit and veggies. We just needed a big fridge because we go off grid sometimes for a few days. We also have a freezer, which is actually 32 liters. It's quite big. We can place a lot of frozen fruits in it for our smoothies and a lot of ice cubes for our ice lattes, which takes us to the next thing, which is our coffee machine. So I actually have an espresso coffee machine in here with a milk steamer. It is quite a luxury for a van, we know that, but we are big coffee lovers, so we just wanted it, we needed it. We make a lot of lattes a day, so this is just perfect. Then next to the fridge, we have another cupboard. So this is where we store our coffees, where we also have our trash can. We have some cookbooks here as well. And then most important part, we have some screens that show us some information about the van. 
So basically those screens show us everything you need to know about our water levels. So we have a 70 liter freshwater tank underneath the van and we also have a 70 liter gray water tank underneath the van and those little screens will show us how full they are. On top of that, we can also turn on our air heater from one of these little screens. So when it is cold, we can turn it on and make the van nice and toasty. The hot air actually comes from the little thing you see right underneath me. Um, we have a wheel pumps air heater mounted underneath the van that works both on gas and on electricity. So wherever we are, we can always have a nice and warm van. And the last screen lets us control the water heater that we showed you underneath one of the seats. So with that water heater, we have eight liters of nice warm water to take a shower or to do the dishes. But basically we just keep it on all the time. So we have warm water always. These are our top cabinets. So this is where we store a lot of food. <laughs> this is a bit messy, but it does the trick. And then the other part is where we keep all our plates, our glassware, and you might wonder how this doesn't break while driving. So it's actually pretty easy. So we have a little anti-slip mat right here. And then in between the plates as well, we have anti-slip, so that's why it doesn't break at all. Let's just put this back and close it again. As you can see, we use the cane webbing here as well again. One more thing I want to show you is our beautiful tile. So we use this as a backsplash for when we're cooking. We actually use the herringbone style. Nicholas almost killed me for doing that because it's honestly so much work. But we're very, very happy with the result. Then one more thing is we do have some lights, some little LED lights right here. So that when it's dark, we can just easily cook in the light. Underneath the bed, there's actually a lot of storage space. So we decided to make a little closet here. We each have two of these big boxes that we can use to put our clothing in. That's how big these boxes are. So this is where all my clothes go. Um, so this is just one box and it's already full of so much stuff. Super, super easy. Also, whenever we're back home and we just want to change our clothes, or do our laundry we can just take this back out and change it out okay and this is our bed so this is where we sleep obviously um, a lot of people have asked me Nicholas how how did you manage to put your bed sideways and still fit in it so we actually made two of these little nukes on each side to make it just a tiny bit bigger our bed is now 190 centimeters long me myself I'm only 186 so I fit it's not the most comfortable but it works. I sleep really well. Laura does as well. Our bed is 130 wide, so lots of cuddling going on <laughs> at night, but we don't mind. Um, we have on top here a little skylight. So together with our max fan in the front, this makes for a nice little stream of air. So in the evenings, especially, it is nice and cool in here. We have two really cool lamps above our bed that really add to the vibe of the van. We actually, this is one of the first things we bought when uh, we decided to convert this van. Here on top, we also have a little storage compartment where we put all our underwear and our socks. I'm not gonna show that to you, <laughs> but it's a nice little place to Absolutely. put these things. And then here in the corner, there is actually a USB, USB-C plug. So we can charge our phones and just put our phones inside of this whenever we're sleeping. One more thing we wanted to show you before we take you to the garage of the van is to show you all the sockets and light switches we have in the van. So our first socket is this one. It's pretty close to the sink. And the reason why is that it is for our hair dryer, for electric toothbrush, for our clothing steamer, things like that. And then we have a light switch right here, which is for the shower. Then the next socket we have is actually underneath the table. 
This is to charge our laptops, which is super easy because this is where we work. And then right next to me are some light switches. So this one is actually for the light above the table and this one is for the light above the bed. So that way we can put them on when laying in bed or while sitting at the table, super easy. Then the next sockets are right here in the kitchen. So right now our milk steamer and our an espresso machine is plugged in but we could also change it and use it for a blender so this is mostly for kitchen utilities and then right next to the coffee machine we have a light switch this light switch is for our little led lights that are here above the kitchen um, and then here we have a USB USB-C plug so we decided to go for a double one for USB-C and USB-C because we think USB-C is the future so um, that's the reason why <laughs> and then as we already showed you we also have a USB and USB-C plug right next to the bed in the corner now let's take you to the garage but to start off in the back of the van we actually have 270 degrees opening doors we also put some hooks to those doors to hang our water hose and all kinds of other stuff we might want to hang and then right here under the bed we decided to put two little doors just to close everything off because a garage can be a messy place and when we open the doors and we just want to enjoy the view or whatever we wanted it to look quite clean and nice from the outside as well so on the right side we have our toolbox and we have our whole electrical system when building this fan we found it very important to be able to stand off grid for at least a few days so we decided to go all in with our electrical components we have two 220 amp hours uh, lithium batteries we also have a 3000 watt inverter which is big enough to handle the Nespresso machine the milk steamer the hair dryer and whatever also have our solar charger in here because on the roof we have four 135 watt solar panels they're the very flexible very thin ones they're very lightweight as well and on top of that to keep our batteries charged when driving we have a 90 amps battery to battery charger the whole electrical setup was made possible thanks to off-grid tech they helped us choose the right components so big big thank you to off-grid tech you guys did an amazing job we couldn't be happier should we ever run out of power because it's like a series of cloudy days and we're not driving at all then we can also charge our van through the little plug right here we haven't used it yet and hopefully we will never will and here right next to it this is how we fill up our water tank so we just put our water hose in here and we fill it up and in the left side of our garage uh, we put all the stuff that we need to take with us but that we don't need regularly so for example we have two big suitcases in here right now because a big part of our job is creating content for brands so we have to take pictures with these suitcases we also have our 20 something liters of barista oat milk to make our iced and non-iced lattes because they are very very hard to find in the south of europe this is also where we put our outdoor furniture so yeah basically Basically, left side of the garage is where we put everything we don't put in the front. So this was our venture of Herbie. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below. And soon our full cost breakdown of our van conversion will go live on YouTube. So that will be quite interesting because we will give you complete honesty in how much everything costs and also what we get for free. So that will be no. quite an interesting video. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams. Also 25 video tutorials, which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project. But I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.